everyone. I hope you guys have a good evening. I'm Tracy, um, the University of Adelaide College representative uh, who based in uh, Malaysia. I look after the Southeast Asia recruitment team and today I would actually like to talk about the University of Adelaide College. So um, just a brief uh, understanding about this University of Adelaide College. So this University of Adelaide College is located in South Australia. Um, Australia, which is actually this particular city itself known as Adelaide City. So Adelaide is actually a beautiful cosmopolitan city, capital city located in South Australia. And um, this particular city is actually the world's only city in the park. Not sure if you heard about it, but um, Adelaide is actually only have 1.3 million people and it's actually including about um, 40,000 international students coming across the world, more than 130 countries in the world. Adelaide, this particular city, has been actually voted as the top 10 most livable city in the world for continuously for years. Um, this city is actually designed for enjoying life. So as an international student, I believe you are looking forward to a city that actually allows you to have a good education as well as a um, livable life. Um, so you can enjoy a life while you are studying in a very beautiful environment. So um, Adric itself is actually... Um, has a lot of easy access into nature. If you are someone who loves about nature, like a uh, national park, beautiful beaches, um, Adelaide, this particular city allows the students to actually access to all these places within 30 minutes from the city center. Sounds amazing, am I right? Yeah. So, um, with beside this kind of uh, easy access um, places to this natural place, like a uh, beautiful beaches as well as this national park, Adelaide also known as a festival city. If you are someone who love about culture, you are someone who love about arts, you are someone who love about music as well as sports, Adelaide city itself is actually has host over 400 arts and cultural as well as sporting event every single year. If you are someone who's studying in Adelaide, I think you are definitely have a lot of time to enjoy all these events hosted by the city itself. So um, as an international student, I think um, cost will be one of the uh, concern about uh, studying abroad. So as an international student, um, your actually cost of living if you're studying in Adelaide is actually less than 40% cheaper than a big city in Australia. So Adelaide has been known as one of the most affordable capital city to live in in Australia. So just to let you know that uh, a lot of time as an international student, the rental as well as the public transport is one of your key concern. Um, when you are actually staying in the city. So Adelaide, um, the cost of living itself, you can save a lot in your rental as well as your public transportation. Why so? It's because within the Adelaide city itself, you can actually find accommodation around uh, 200 Aussie dollar to 250 Aussie dollar with a very comfortable living space. Um, as well as international student, you also get a 50% 5-0, 50% deduction of uh, public transportation. So um, if you stay within the city centre with the cost that I mentioned just now, about 200 to $250 per week, you actually also get a free unlimited ride if you take a public transport within the city centre. You can basically walk to the school, you can basically walk around the city centre or you can hop into any single public transportation provided by the city um, that actually save your cost itself. So um, if you stay out of the city centre, of course your rental can be even cheaper than I mentioned just now, probably about $180 per week. And um, as long as you need to take public transport to travel within the city, you still get a deduction on that. That's why we say, talk about you can save a lot in the cost of living if you're studying in Adelaide itself. So um, 
there are a lot of opportunity if you're studying in Adelaide. So right now at this moment, the Australian government has actually promoted Adelaide and they actually offer international graduates with additional year if you actually uh, wanted to stay back in Adelaide or South Australia to contribute into their economy. So if you are listening right now, please leave me your comments and experience if you've been to in Adel uh, Australia or Adelaide. Um, share about your experience, share about your uh, feedback um, to the other people who are actually watching on this video. So um, share your experience because um, it will actually uh, give people idea about Adelaide, how um, different people have a different view about Adelaide City. So um, of course, I do actually welcome you to actually give me some likes if you actually um, learn about this city today uh, based on this particular video itself. So feel free to tag your friends, feel free to share this video to all your friends who actually uh, wanted to know about study in Australia, especially in Adelaide, this city or in Melbourne, this city, because we are going to talk about um, the University of Adelaide who located in this city centre. So um, just to let you know, um, Adelaide itself is actually a design um, to live uh, where Actually, Adelaide, this particular city itself is actually designed for life where the education of uh, the life, the quality of education meets the quality of uh, living. So Adelaide itself is actually has three established institutions across the whole uh, region. So um, there are three public universities. Uh, the first one is the University of Adelaide. Um, the second one is University of South Australia. The third one. The third one is actually Flinders University. So today, um, I would like to purely talk about the University of Adelaide, which is the group of eight university. And um, just to share with you, um, University of Adelaide has a very rich history of um, excellent spanning, which more than 140 years. It's actually even older than your grandparents, even older than me. Probably all the family member are uh, aged up together the university itself is still older than all of us, okay? Um, just to share with you, um, University of Adelaide is actually a member of an uh, Australian prestigious group of eight university. This group of eight university is actually a research-intensive university, which they are mainly stand tall among the world-leading institution of learning and innovation. So, if you are someone who loves about research, you are someone who would like to contribute your idea to actually do something new, innovative, you want to be more innovative. Uh, so this kind of university is suitable for you, this kind of personality, because they provide a very good uh, research. Um, okay, So University of Adelaide, um, just to give you some overview about the university ranking, so the University of Adelaide has been always ranked the top 1% in the world. And right now at this moment, University of Adelaide is actually ranked the 106th in QS World Ranking and 120 in Times Higher Education World Ranking as well as 137 in Academic Ranking of World University. So all these uh, ranking board that I mentioned earlier is all about research. So how well your university rank in terms of in their board itself. So we are talking about research, research, research. That's why they actually fall back into what I mentioned just now earlier. It's a university that highly focus on research as well as innovative. Okay. So, um, University of Adelaide has been years of history. So, they also produce a lot of alumni as well. So, we actually, um, the university itself has produced five Nobel Prize winners. So, these five Nobel Prize winners are mainly into which industry? So, a lot of students who are looking into health and medical industry, uh, health and medical sciences industry. We have two Nobel Prize winner graduate from the University of Adelaide. We also have two um, researchers actually focusing on this engineering field, also graduate from the University of Adelaide. The University of Adelaide currently still have one Nobel Prize winner that actually still teaching in the University of Adelaide on Faculty of Arts. So this particular Nobel Prize winner are actually focusing on this art research. Okay, so if you are someone into arts program, so you probably might get this particular Nobel Prize winner as part of your 
lectures one day uh, when you're doing a uh, university subjects okay so um, beside um, they produce five Nobel Prize winner actually uh, Australian first the female uh, prime minister is also graduate from University of Adelaide. So um, just to let you know, University of Adelaide actually offer five different faculties. Uh, then actually um, these five different faculty also produce, um, I mean some of the subject itself also rank the world top 50 by the QS world ranking. Of course, if you want to find out more about world top 50 uh, ranking, I will just share about uh, some of the majors that are available. Um, medicine, dental surgery, um, sorry, uh, health and medical sciences in terms of dentistry is actually one of the top 50 in the world. Um, they are engineering also one of the top 50 in the world as well. So it really depends on what major you are really looking into. So we can talk about it, uh, drop your um, comments or any questions about this top 50 or top 100 in the world in the comment box below, okay? So what are the five faculty available in the University of Adelaide? So um, University of Adelaide, the five faculty consists of faculty of arts, just now I mentioned if you wanted to have a chance to actually study together with this Nobel Prize winner. So he's actually teaching in Faculty of Arts. So we also have Faculty of Science. We have Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences. We have Faculty of Engineering, Mathematics and Computer Science. We also have Faculty of Profession. Faculty of Profession inclusive of like architecture program, business program, law program. If you are someone into all these major, you will be fall into Faculty of Profession. Okay, so um, I guess those who are still listening or you probably would think of, oh, this university, how am I going to get into this university? With the, is there any uh, courses available for me to get into this particular university? The answer is yes, of course, we always have a pathway for students who are looking into gra graduating with this top ranking university. So just to let you know, the University of Adelaide College is actually offer a pathway program for students who would like to complete their study with the University of Adelaide. So what kind of program available and offered by this college itself? So we offer English program. We offer foundation program. We also offer international year one program for those students who are looking into University of Adelaide program. So for those students who probably graduating with bachelor, you are doing your bachelor degree right now, and you would like to do a master's program, can you do a pathway to get into master's in Adelaide University? The answer is yes. We also offer a pre-master's program um, in the college itself that gives you a pathway to get into University of Adelaide master's degree program. So um, just to let you know, courses like foundations program, courses like international year one English program, how am I going to get in? So if you are someone who are doing like international qualification, for example, you are doing IGCSE, GCE, or probably you are doing international uh, IB program, we call, um, we talk about um, Matayam 5, you can get into foundation program directly. If you are coming from Laos, um, of course, you can use your upper secondary uh, diploma qualification to get in, into our foundation program. So this foundation program takes about a year time, give you a preparation to get into university year one program. So we also offer program for those students who complete a higher qualification. For example, if you do an international qualification like A-Levels program, if you do an international qualification like IB program, if you do Matayum 6, you can get in via this international year one before you get into university year two program. We also recognize students um, who are actually coming from other qualification, maybe you do Canadian year 12, or maybe you do any other year 12 equivalency program. Send in your application for us to assess and we will let you know whether you are qualified for this international year one program. So um, we just how we mentioned about if you are still doing a bachelor and you don't want to repeat the whole bachelor degree program it's okay we have a pre-masters program for you to get in before you uh, start off with your master's program in the university of adelaide as well so uh, pre-masters program we will need you to complete 
at least a tertiary quali uh, education, like your bachelor qualification, okay? Um, the college itself will assess your qualification accordingly and we will offer you the courses that are available for you before you get in into the University of Adelaide. So what is uh, the unique point about this pathway itself? So the pathway itself is actually give you a platform for you to get a better preparation before you get into University of Adelaide. As we all mentioned just now, University of Adelaide is one of the top ranking university. So um, probably some of the students are a bit concerned about their education level. They are a bit concerned about the English program. We also run an English program before you actually start the academic courses with us in the college so if you feel like your english might not meet a very good requirement it's okay you can actually submit your uh, english score for us and we we'll actually assess accordingly and we will offer english program for you to package with our foundation or pre-masters program or any degree program um, before you start the university of adelaide degree courses okay not to worry we always give you an alternative pathway all right so um if you actually um like uh know about this particular general pathway just show me some light, some love, okay? Um, and if you find this information very useful, feel free to give me some uh, your emotions because I can feel that you're actually listening, you actually get what am I talking to um, right now, what am I sharing to you right now. So um, we also understand um, some of the students coming from a big city, like for example, you are actually currently based in Bangkok. You are so used to this kind of big, vibrant city. I would like to go into a bigger city in Australia as well, a more happening city. So is there any other options? Of course, we do have an options in Melbourne itself. That's what the topic has been mentioning. So if you would like to know um, study in Melbourne, we also have an Adelaide program run in Melbourne as well, okay? So it's actually a new campus actually in Melbourne city centre. And our first intake will be starting this year, November. And we are actually definitely excited. We are very welcome. All the international students who wanted to study in a bigger city like Melbourne and actually who like to stay inside the city centre so you don't feel like, oh, I'm actually very far away from my Bangkok city, for example. So um, people coming from a bigger city probably tends to looking into, hey, I want to study in a bigger city, right? Like I said, Melbourne is another alternative. Melbourne is another option for you. Okay, so um, just to let you know, where is this University of Adelaide located if we are actually going to study in Melbourne? I never heard about University of Adelaide in Melbourne. Like I said, it's a new campus. So this University of Adelaide program that runs in Melbourne city centre is actually partnership with our education provider known as Kaplan Education Provider. So Kaplan actually own a city campus located in Docklet. If you are someone actually been to Melbourne, if you are someone uh, staying in Melbourne or if you have any relative family members who are staying studying in Melbourne, they definitely heard about this area called Dockland area. So our Kaplan has a building in Dockland and it's actually a city campus and we are going to conduct our first intake this November for the University of Adelaide program. So at this moment, um, the University of Adelaide uh, program that runs under our Melbourne campus is only limited to those students who are looking into bachelor program. So we only run the international year one program as well as a pre-masters program in Melbourne campus. So if you are someone finishing IGCSE, you are someone finishing Matayam 5 and you will need to study a foundation pathway. Unfortunately, you will need to study in Adelaide campus. You can't study in Melbourne campus, sorry to say that. But you are someone graduating with Matayam 6, you are someone graduating with IG, uh, sorry, A levels qualification, if you are someone graduating with IB qualification and you would like to progress your study in Melbourne, yes, the University of Adelaide College and the University of Adelaide University, Melbourne campus offer this pathway for you. 
but uh, over here we only have a very limited courses we are mainly teaching business IT which is something um, popular for your market something popular for Asian student these are the courses we are available in Melbourne campus yeah so um, again we are located in Dockland. Dockland is actually part of the city centre. If you staying within the city or you probably staying a bit suburb area, you still can travel to the city and the city centre actually provide free tram services within the Melbourne city as well. So it can save you some of the courses if you want to as well. Okay. Um, if you talk about, hey, I'm coming from Matayom 6, I would like to get into this international year one in Melbourne campus. What is the entry requirement? Is it the same with this Adelaide campus? Or should I actually need to achieve a better score? The answer is no. We actually still evaluating, looking into the same entry requirement. So if you are actually someone looking into study in Australia as an option, and you are looking into no, I'm open up my options in Adelaide. I'm open up my options in Melbourne. Now you know that Adelaide University give you two different options. One is actually in Adelaide cities, uh, city centre. It's their main campus. Another one is actually Melbourne city centres. It's their city campus. Okay, you have two options right now to graduate yourself, get yourself graduating with the top ranking university program under Adelaide or Melbourne. Okay. So feel free to leave your comments, feel free to leave your question if you have any um, friends you yourself would like considering study in um, these two cities, okay? We will actually look into if there's any questions um, in the comment box and uh, we will going to answer you one by one later on as well. So um, you are a college student, you must be wondering what is the benefit of becoming a college student right so being a college student you are part of the university member how do how does it mean so on the first day of your orientation or your first day of study you are given a university id which means you are indirectly being recognized hey you are actually part of the university of adelaide students okay you are doing a foundation program it's okay you are allowed to access all the facilities available in the university campus okay if you are doing an international year one program you are allowed to access the lecturer you are allowed to access all the syllabus also conducted in the university as well your pre-master student is definitely the same treatment for those who get into master directly in the university so in the college itself our mission and our goal is to deliver the quality education for you to ensure you that being treated as part of the university members since day one we also highly uh, focusing on um, delivering quality education based on the small size classes so if you join the college today tomorrow next intake next year it's okay our class size is always a small size classes this also gives an international student a feeling that oh i'm international student i doesn't have a culture shock here when i study in the college itself why i say so is because when you are in a smaller environment you feel more secure you feel you are more taken care of by the lecturers itself so we highlight a lot a lot a lot of our student support here when we are running in the small size classes we give you a focused attention because you are a small size classes we can count by finger or we can count by no hand like how many students in our class and we can give you full focus if you are international student um, being an international student we definitely understand that you're having a lot of fears a lot of concern a lot of like um, mental sick because you miss home so much so we are giving you a full care just like you are baby um, when you are actually studying with us in the college itself so a lot of parents a lot of students often have um, this kind of concern like it's my first day here so my agents actually sent me to australia but they are not traveling with me it's okay the college give you a very well prepared um, guideline before you actually start with us 
and you are du- during your time with us in the college itself in Australia, we give you full support as well. All this support didn't charge you extra uh, fees as well. Okay, so you pay whatever that you get. Okay, maximize your usage with us. Okay, our student services team always welcome you to actually meet up with them. They always uh, care about our students again and again. We highlight a lot of students qual um student mental quality we highlight a lot of our services supports provided to all the international students so we also believe that like for example you are from a uh, thai you are from laos or you are from somewhere else uh, uh, around the world that english is not your first language it's okay okay we give you additional english courses if you do a foundation program with us if you do any international year one program with us some of the students might not uh, having a good confidence uh, when they are speaking english with the uh, locals or the australians um, or any other international student might be uh, good in english it's okay okay we won't uh, stereotype you we won't judge you like oh so you don't speak english we don't talk to you no we give you this kind of english support in your program we give you english support when you are out of the classes so you can just fully maximize your um uh this kind of a uh, tutorial you can maximize all these kind of english services provided by the college itself so i believe if you study with the college since the day one you might a bit weak in your English, but in end of the day, end of your program with the college itself, your English should be actually improving a lot because we highlight a lot of English supports as well for international students. So um, another thing is um, we also would like to talk about if you study in Adelaide University, Adelaide campus or Melbourne campus. So as an international student, some of them, they are looking into can I work during my study? The answer is yes. Okay, as holding a student pass, you are allowed to work for 20 hours uh, every week. So one month, it comes up to 80 hours um, during your study period. So during your semester break, you are allowed to work unlimited as well. So give, this also gives you a bit of taste, a bit of uh, experience to gain during your study in Australia. And this also gives you a uh, bonus i would say advantage when come to graduating from australia and getting a job later with your bachelor qualification or master's qualification so right now at this moment uh, most of the student will need to spend at least a three years study in australia in order to get a two years post-study work visa i believe some of your agents will definitely tell you about it to get a job opportunity in Australia after you graduating with bachelor program yes um, you will need to you will need to study a minimum of three years in Australia okay you can do a degree transfer program with us for one year then university two years you can do a pre master's program with us and the university for about two years you can do a foundation then university for three to four years you will come out to a minimum of three years study to allow you to gain a two years post study work visa regardless you study in melbourne campus regardless you study in adelaide campus these two years is for you to apply after your uh, completion of your study in australia so for those students who actually wanted to move to our adelaide campus study in our adelaide campus you are giving a bonus what kind of bonus the state government is giving you so as long as you graduate in adelaide and you actually will gain at least a two years of post-study work visa that i mentioned earlier and with these two years of post-study work visa you stay in south australia and you will be given additional one more year extra from the state government so you get a three years post-study work right if you actually graduate from adelaide staying in Adelaide for two years one year extra but if you are studying in melbourne so what kind of benefit you are getting unfortunately melbourne at this moment they only allows the student to actually study um, for minimum three years and get up to a two years post study work right okay so um i hope today's video give you some insight about the journey from your current uh, situation current country you are from for example, you are from um, Thailand, you are from Laos, okay? You will need a pathway, okay, 
to get into the University of Adelaide. Knowing the city, this kind of uh, um, um, smaller city or bigger city that you are looking into, you it actually gives you actually a few of uh, different exposure comparing you study in Thailand itself. You actually also allowed to uh, get at least a two years work study uh, poke post-study work right as well as long as you graduate from Melbourne or Adelaide if you're studying abroad in Australia. So this gives you a bit of a different exposure, open up your uh, experience studying in Australia, gain the working experience and coming back to your home country to contribute back to your economics. So I hope this uh, video gives you a very good insight about uh, what you can do what you can actually uh, study if you actually um, would like to progress into the University of Adelaide. Um, drop me any message, drop me, give me some thumbs up, likes, love, if you actually would like to uh, feel that you gain some knowledge, gain some new experience, um, new information today. So um, if you have any, um, again, uh, please and please uh, share this video to all your friends who are actually really looking into uh, options to study in Adelaide, options to study in Melbourne, or options to study in uh, Australia. So if you have any assistance needed um, for your academic, counselling, advice, you can always refer yourself back to this AIC Thailand or AIC Laos. The counsellors are very, very experienced. They will able to guide you through the whole journey in terms of application, acceptance, visa processing, um, in, as well as your accommodation. They also probably can link you up with their students who are currently in Australia. So you won't feel alone when you're actually traveling to Australia itself. So I hope to see you one day in our campus. And during this pandemic, um, the COVID-19 pandemic, I know you are being locked down. So please stay home. Stay healthy as well as keep yourself hygiene. Stay safe and um, yep. Thank you. Good luck to you. Have a good evening. Thank you so much.